Running common services like mail servers, web servers, etc. is easy on FreeBSD, but what if you want to run multiple services with each process separated from one another, securely contained then? A long time before Docker became trendy, FreeBSD had jails, the less weighty, simpler answer to keeping processes securely contained. So let's take a look at how easy it is to get jails up and running. As with everything in the tech industry, there are always at least half a dozen different ways to achieve the same outcome. There are lots of tools for creating and managing jails on FreeBSD, but my own preference is to keep it simple. So I opt for using the tools we're given in a default installation. The handbook has some excellent documentation on jails, and I mostly stick to it with only a minor deviation. I'm starting with a base virtual machine installed like our last couple of videos. They're both linked in the description below. We have ZFS root, you're going to need that to follow along with this too. And uh, if you've got five minutes then, this is my process for setting up jails. By default, jails are not enabled, so that's going to be the first thing we're going to want to do. We're only setting up one jail in this particular example, but if we had more than one, it's actually useful to enable the parallel start. I tell you what, it's going to get really boring. Keep typing do it as before everything. So let's just be rude, shall we? Let's create some ZFS file systems to put our jails on. If you follow along with the handbook, you'll find that there are another one or two ZFS file sets created. I'm okay with this slightly simpler approach of just having a base or template file system, which I then snapshot for new jails. We'll get to that in a moment. Now let's create the base template. We just need to go and grab the FreeBSD user land. Next, we're going to extract the user land files from that archive we've downloaded. Nice. Let's take our resolve.conf from the host system and put that into our, what is now building to be our template. And also our time zone setup. Now let's patch that template. I'm also going to bootstrap the package system within our jail. You can actually install packages into a jail from the host system without having package in the jail. But later on, I'm probably gonna to want to manage my jails with Ansible, which means I need the package system bootstrapped in there. Now you might like all of your jails to have far more packages than that. So you could build this template with far more preparations in it. But for now, this is good enough for me. Okay, we've got our snapshot there ready for creating new jails. Now we need an etc jail.conf to service our base for all our other jails. Then every time we create a new jail from a template snapshot, we just put a very minimal configuration into place. I've already got one that I've typed out beforehand because the last thing you need to do is sit here whilst I type over 800 characters out. That file is included in the description below though. Okay, we're ready to create our first jail. This is a pretty simple set of commands to make life a little bit easier. I've got a short script to do the job for me. All we do is look up the template snapshot that we've just made. We clone that into our new jail and then create a simple configuration file for the new jail. And lastly, enable it. Let's try making one, shall we? Now we have our web server jail ready to populate. 
This has been a really quick and simple introduction to getting jails up and running. Uh, those few commands, by the way, we've put them into a script to help you get it running really quickly and save a little bit of typing. There's a link in the description below to the GitHub repository with that. This is also available as a blog post on the foundation website, again, link below. If you were gonna run lots and lots of jails and probably scale this out, you'd want to use another tool to manage them rather than doing it all just in a simple script like this. Current core um, member and community contributor Dave Cottlehuber has a really good Ansible playbook for running jails at scale. We'll leave a link to his repository in the description below too. If you'd like to see any future content on more advanced topics of jails, just let us know in the comments below what it is that you'd like us to cover and we'll see if we can get around to that. Bye for now.